Hello everyone, I'm Chase at Rocky Mountain ATVMC and welcome to our 2020 Neck Brace Buyer's Guide. All right, everyone, thanks for checking in. As you can see today, we are talking all about neck braces. We carry a lot of different options from great brands, and there's a lot of different things to consider when you are shopping for one. So today, we just want to help you out. We want to talk about what separates all the neck braces that we sell at Rocky Mountain, give you the details that you need to know to help give you a good starting point and point you in the right direction. Now, keep in mind, if you see one or two neck braces that you're interested in, we have product spotlights where we talk about these in full detail, so give those a watch. Also, I've written in several of the neck braces that you see on the table, so if you want some more personal feedback, I'm more than happy to give that. So leave your questions, your comments below as we talk about these. Now, before we talk about these and what separates them, I also want to just clear up a couple common concerns that I think a lot of riders have when it comes to a neck brace. The first off is range of motion. So if you've never ridden a neck brace before, I think a lot of riders have the concern that when they wear it, it's going to limit the range of motion. They're going to feel like the neck brace is inhibiting them from seeing and moving their head as much as they want to. If you put a neck brace on for the first time, you put your helmet on, and you're just standing straight up and down like I am now, yes, you are going to feel like it's very limiting as far as the range of motion goes. That's totally normal. But here's what you have to remember. Once you get on the bike and you start to ride, you're in a completely different position. You're in that riding position. At that point, it really frees up your range of motion. Like I said, I've ridden in these, so I've never been riding before with a neck brace and felt like I didn't have enough range of motion with the neck brace on. So if that's a concern you have, I think you can just toss that out the window. And the other is with roost deflector compatibility. A lot of riders will try neck braces on. They want to know, well, will it fit with this roost deflector or this roost deflector? On the product pages for these, we actually have listed several different roost deflectors for each that we feel will work with these. But to be safe, probably one of the best options, if you're buying an Atlas or a Liat, go with that brand of chest protector because those are going to obviously be built to handle this neck brace but also you can ask those questions we'll get those answered for you and remember these aren't a apparel item so if you get one if you're not happy with how it fits you can send it back in brand new unused condition and we'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange just to make sure you get exactly what you are looking for so without further ado let's get started with neck brace number one All right, neck brace number one is the r4 from evs now if you're shopping for a neck brace on a budget this is gonna be one of the best options for you. Price point's about 120 bucks, so it's $100 cheaper, over $100 cheaper, than the next closest neck brace in our lineup, so it's not gonna break the bank. As far as fitment and sizing goes with these, it's a really just one size fits all. And that's one of the drawbacks to the R4. It's still gonna offer the protection that you want out of a neck brace, but you're not gonna get as much adjustability as the other neck braces in our lineup to really fine tune that fitment. So what they say is that for riders that are five foot three and over, or 105 pounds and over, that's who this neck brace is designed for. So not as much adjustability, but if you look at it here, the way it opens and closes is pretty simple. You've got this Velcro tab here underneath. You undo that, and then you're gonna press this button right here on the top. That's gonna allow this to pull apart, and then it goes right back together. So simple to put on. You notice you got nice padding here underneath. Now the rear strut on this is adjustable. It's not gonna be, like I said, as much as the others in the lineup, but you can adjust this to fine tune the fitment. So there is some adjustability there, but looking at it, like I said, it's a pretty basic neck brace. It's not gonna be the best looking in the lineup today, but again, it's affordable and it's still gonna offer the protection that you wanna have a neck brace. So if you're shopping on a budget, R4 from EVS, the route to take. All right, so now let's move on to the neck brace that Jason Anderson, Justin Barsha, Tim Geiser are all wearing. It's the Bionic Tech 2 from Alpine Star. So with the Tech 2, you're gonna jump up in price. So now you're about 300 bucks, but as you're about to see, a little bit more technicality, and you're getting more adjustment than we saw with that EVS. Now, as far as the weight goes with this, you're one pound, 10 ounces, so you are about five, six ounces heavier than the EVS. And some riders will ask me, is that a noticeable difference? Yeah, you can feel the difference when you put this on your shoulders. Now, when you start to ride, in my opinion, you forget about that weight, but you will feel it when you first put the neck brace on. But for me, it's not gonna be a deal breaker. But looking at it, here's what I like. A little bit more adjustability. So they have what they call their size adapter system. So you will notice in your packaging that you have these plates. You're gonna have two sets that will come included. Also, you have the ones obviously already installed on the brace, but you can actually interchange these to adjust the length of the brace to get it exactly where you want it. You also can see I've got the padding on the table. They're gonna give you multiple sets of padding. That way you can interchange it on the brace. Again, just more comfort, more 
customized fit once you have this. Also, I like the quality of this padding. It's nice and thick, nice and dense. I just like the way it feels once you put this on. A couple of the things that I like about this. Might not seem like a big deal, but for me, it's a convenience factor. When you look at the front here, I think the Bionic Tech 2 has the best system as far as putting this on and taking it off. You have this pull cord right here. Just pull on it. That allows this to open up. So really simple. And then to close it, it's actually magnetic. So very easy to close. Now, the last feature I want to touch on when it comes to how this is going to help or reduce the forces to the rider's head and neck is with their rear strut. So what I like about this, it's actually on what they call a pivot key, which you can easily take this off if you want when it comes to storage. It makes it a little bit easier. But also, what I like is that this will actually rotate or pivot. And the reason that I like that is that's just going to help stay with the rider, mimic their movement. It's going to help give good contact to the rider's back. And also, they have their progressive force release. So you can see this does have quite a bit of flex to it. So it is designed to break away, again, just to help mitigate and get those forces away from the rider's neck. So overall, again, rock solid brace, up in price, but you're getting more adjustability as far as the fitment goes. It's the Bionic Tech 2 from Alpine Stars. All right, moving on down, we have the Atlas Air Neck Brace. So the Atlas Air is what riders like Ryan Villapoto, Chase Sexton are both wearing. I've spent a lot of time in this neck brace myself. And for me, here's what I think really stands out about the Atlas Air. The price point on this year, about 300 bucks. So same as that Bionic Tech 2, but the weight, it's very lightweight. The size large is one pound, four ounces. So the same as the EVS that we showed you earlier. And when I put on the Atlas Air, I feel like it's the most minimalistic design, very low profile compared to the others in the lineup today. Those are some things that for me just really stand out. Now aside from that, here's some pretty unique features. First up, the way you open and close this, you have a button right up here in the front. You're going to press that and that's going to allow you to open and close this. So similar to the Alpine Stars, but not going to be as user friendly, but it's still a great design. And now with the chest supports here, what I like about these is that they actually have quite a bit of flex to them. In fact, they say 30 millimeters of travel. And the reason for that, they just say it acts as suspension for the neck brace to help absorb more impact. When you look at the back here, their back mounts, you can see they have what they call their split flex frame technology. It's this rubber piece right here that connects the back. And the purpose for that, just like the name says, give it more flex, help this work with the rider. Also, with these back supports as well as the chest, you can see it's split right down the middle. They want to keep this away from your sternum as well as the spine. So that's why they have that design there. Now, last thing I like about this is with the adjustability. They have what they call their smart mounts which means these back supports, you can actually adjust these in three different positions. You have these spacers that are in there, and you can reverse those and actually have three more adjustment points. You have a total of six adjustment points for the back support, and also you have extra padding that will come included. It's a different thickness, so you can actually just interchange that. It's right here on the bottom of the brace. That way you get that more customized fit. So again, Price point about 300 bucks, but in my opinion, one of the more low profile minimalistic designs that is out there, that is the Atlas Air. All right, so to finish everything off, we have three options coming from Liat. We've got the GPX 3.5, the 5.5, and the 6.5. We're going to talk about all three of the differences between them. If you're wondering who rocks a Liat neck brace, riders like Ryan Sipes, Marvin Muscan, Garrett Marchbanks, and Liat actually, they say, designed the first motorcycle-specific neck brace. So these guys have been at it a very long time. So first up, when we talk about these, you got the 3.5. So the 3.5 is going to be the more budget-friendly option in their line. If you're stuck on Liat and that's what you want, but you don't want to pay the premium price, this would be a little bit better option for you. So the price for the 3.5 is about $270. So it's $100 less than the 5.5. But looking at the 3.5, there are a couple trade-offs that you do make here. So it's a very lightweight neck brace. That's what I do like about the 3.5. It's one pound, two ounces. So it is the lightest neck brace that we are showing you today. So that's something that really stands out to me. If you look here, you have these supports here that are going to sit right on top of the rider's shoulders. They have collarbone cutouts to avoid that area. Your chest supports, the way you open and close this, there's a little tab here on the left, you press that, that's gonna allow it to open and close, very simple to do. And then when you look at the back support here, something unique with their thoracic strut is this is designed like the Alpine Stars to break away when enough force is applied, but you do have a little bit of adjustability with the 3.5, this thoracic strut, you see these red tabs that you have on the inside here, you can pop those out and actually move that strut forward or keep it where it's at. So you have a couple different points of adjustability and that's really the big sacrifice that you're making with the 3.5. You're getting lightweight because the 5.5 is about actually eight ounces heavier, so it's lighter, but you're not gonna get as much adjustability, but if you want a Liat neck brace at a great price point, this would be the one to go with. Now moving on from there, you have the 5.5 and the 6.5. 
Now, both these braces are identical as far as the technicality. The difference is going to be in the construction. With the 6.5, this is the carbon version. So the standard 5.5, 1 pound 10 ounces. The 6.5 is 1 pound 5 ounces. So you're saving yourself about 5 ounces. So like I said earlier, you can feel it when you're riding. Not going to be as noticeable, but if you're willing to pay that extra cost, because with the 5.5, you're about $370. You jump up to about $500 for the 6.5. But here's what I love about these braces from Liat. They have the most adjustability of any of the neck braces that we talked about today. It's not gonna be as low profile feeling as the Atlas Air in my opinion, but when I put this 5.5 on or the 6.5, I just really feel like I get the best fit. It almost feels like this neck brace is just hugging me, almost like it was custom fit exactly for my body shape. That's why I like this so much. And the way that they allow you to do that as you notice here, they have what they call their SureFit adjusters. So this thoracic strut, what's nice is that it just folds down so it's easy to store. But you look here on the back, you actually have these red tabs. And if I pull that red tab up, you will notice that underneath this in the back, there's actually six different points. So you can see I can slide this back and forth. So I can slide that back and forth, I can adjust it there. You'll also notice too that on that thoracic strut, you have this rubber piece here. It's actually interchangeable. So they're actually gonna come included with multiple different mounts here for the back. That will adjust the angle of the thoracic strut. And lastly, when you look at the front here, same as the back, you've got that SureFit adjuster. Up in the front, you're gonna have four different positions. You got six in the back, four in the front. So you can slide that forward and back. And again, with all this adjustability that you have, you're just gonna be able to get, in my opinion, the best customized fit. Last couple of things I wanna point out, the way you open and close it, a little bit different than the 3.5. You have it on the side here, on the right side, a little button underneath, you press it, that allows it to open and close. And another feature that you haven't seen yet that I like is you'll notice here on the left side, you have this red screw. Well, the purpose for that, you're gonna get that on the 5.5 and the 6.5, is that if in the event of a crash, you need to get the neck brace off the rider as safely as possible. You can undo the button on the right side and then you just take out the screw on the left. It allows the neck brace to come apart in two pieces. So I think that's a pretty cool safety feature when it comes to an emergency situation. So again, you got the 3.5, the 5.5, and the 6.5. Really it's just gonna come down to budget. Also, how much adjustability are you looking for? Because that, in my opinion, is really the strong suit of the Liat neck braces. All right, everyone, so thanks for watching our 2020 Neck Brace Buyer's Guide. Now, remember, if you have questions or comments, you want feedback, leave that below. We'll get those answered. And also, I'd love to hear your feedback on these. If you own one of these up here, if you've ridden these before, leave us your feedback. What do you like about it? Maybe what you don't like about it. That's going to help other riders out who are looking to pick up their first neck brace. Now, to pick yours up, you can just click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. Remember, orders over 75 bucks ship free. If you guys like this buyer's guide, well, we have them for all the major categories for off-road, so make sure to subscribe, stay up to date, and check those out. I'm Chase. We'll see you on the trails.